Hello, beautiful people. Nothing more. Welcome to the UCLA Bruins versus BYU. Cougars. Women's college soccer game, and we're live at the. Uh, BYU's Avery Frischneck, the sophomore from Mapleton, Utah. She's played every minute this season for the Cougars. Frischneck just showing a little bit of her speed there. Really, really well. And we're live at the... Trying to find their identity. The, the Wallace. Wide to this left-hand side. Annenberg Stadium in, in Los Angeles, California. To thread the needle for Annie Gardner to no avail. That final ball has been lacking slightly, but UIU always on the probe, always on the assault. Make no bones about it. You go back in so history. Well is College Cup in two of the last Annenberg three years. Stadium. The way they do it, the manner in which they perform is very impressive. They're easy on the eyes, they say. They in Los Angeles, in California. Loses out, Bodie tidies up in midfield. 
So the team we're rooting for for tonight's late night game under the lights will be is UCLA Bruins. And we are brand new teams in the Big Ten Conference. Free kick here for UCLA. Interesting stories about Maya Evans. Talking to head coach Marguerite Avazaso had a lot to say about her. <laughs> she sure did. And, she and our jersey is just white. And for BYU, is when she is blue. saw her as a defender and said, hey, you would make a really good forward. You know that? Because she has Maya such, Evans. Good power, such good finesse. And She's from Millbrae, California. And She's a senior. And even her hometown is Millbrae, California. Maya Evans stepped up and she said, hey. Why don't you put me up top? Also, and on this campus, we have a Rose really well, Bowl really stadium. Player, really strong on the ball. That's where we have really well well. our Rose Vision. Bowl games every year and in January on the 1st. It's is, is really good. It has been great for the It's something you don't really see every day now. And we already made our first goal in the game, so... so well, we have uh, soccer fans who are here to support our team for the night. So we'll be real. Seniors are making Massachusetts puts it right into that danger area. And Brigham Young come away unscathed, but they're not out of the woods yet. Evans hooks it on flag, is up offside against the former Cal Golden Bear on her second year after transferring from Berkeley to Westwood. And what's so good about real service is that it's a driven ball, right? It, she whips it in there with the left. It's an in-swinger making it extremely difficult for the goalkeeper. Nick Bodie getting cheaply in ball once again. The amount of ground she covers is immense. Here's the aforementioned Bodie dislodged by two, tidied up by real. This is Evans now. Good support now from Cook. Nearly came off of that final ball from Cook. Much too heavy. They're starting to find that yep. synergy and that link between midfield and the attack, however. Absolutely. You can start to see the rhythm really build between the midfield and the forwards. At that time, it was Evans and Cook. If they the kick it to me, hold the phone. And they're doing just that. He's going to take it two yards deep. Look at this. He had eight career kick returns for touchdowns. Make it nine. Marcus Jones. Thank you. 
It won't be Gino Sam. Keep your composure. Get off the sideline. That was all Todd Reese. The Missouri Tigers decided to come with the blitz. Could quite control it. Seconds of sound football. It is blocked by Sexton. Unreal. Touchdown. Falk throws end zone and it is caught. Touchdown. Penalty flag is down. Marks pulls it in to give Wazoo the lead. Touchdown! 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 Touchd
Uh, third down, quick drop, Leonard, rolling left, trying to buy some time. Leonard will throw it deep downfield. He's got several men down there, and it is... No signal! Touchdown, Arkansas State! Touchdown, Arkansas They have won it! Three flags on the play! How in the world did he throw that ball down there and get that out of the touchdown? Arkansas State, and this ball game is over! Let's see what's going on. And oh, oh! So coming up tomorrow evening, we have our first football game with Rutgers versus Bison. We're going to be the perfect tonic as well, coming over from Washington State, former Pac-12 rival. Here's Real now. Lovely touch from Barbieri, the former Oregon Duck, supported well by Jake Perry. It's ex interesting here, expansive football, playing three at the back. In possession, UCLA. UCLA doing a really good job of stretching the field, forcing this BYU team to, to be stretched a bit. And here they come once again, Quincy McBann with a bit between her teeth. Twisty and turning with eyes for the end line. Took well by Emma Hamberlin. One thing we can't say. UCLA are always a good watch. If you're not familiar with UCLA women's soccer, it's a team that we mentioned at the top of the show, renowned for their fluid attacking soccer. It hasn't been the real staple as of late in this new Bruin side, but they certainly are capable of moments of magnificence. Here's Geis trying to provide it. Good support to center of the park. Avery Robinson's checked in wearing the 18 shirt for EGC and this one speculative at best. UCLA freshman for Zealous. I like it though. I like when the youngsters are aggressive and it's that time it was a youngster, it was a senior, Alice Barbieri taking it from a distance. And Labrin will come on wearing the number five shirt for Bring and Young, replacing Addie Gardner in midfield. Red reach deep into their bench. Mention how depleted they are. Some of their big performers. And Aaron Bailey unable to go along with Abby Cotter. The, the referee will stop play here after this challenge. The string fellow goes to ground. And that's going to be a yellow card for Jaden Perry. Now comes back to the right. Receivers around, nobody else. Just trying to 
touch the this touches it there. Good takeaway though from BYU and then you see the jersey tug. That's an automatic yellow there. Referee right there sees it all.
you don't believe it. Brett Favre threw the Hail Mary that gave USM the incredible 16-10 victory. Three wide receivers left side, one to the right side. Favre drops back to throw. Under pressure, scrambles right. Gets away from Washington. He's going to throw it as far as he can down the field. It is tipped and caught by Tillman. Tillman at the 20, the 15, the 10. The most important thing is to get the first down. Don't worry about the clock. Just get the right play call. He's left from the yard. He's going for it all. He's got a receiver in the end zone. He is caught by Arkansas. London Crawford comes down with the ball. And with 21 seconds left to play, the extra point will probably give Arkansas a win. The defensive lineman who plays back there. This should be the final play of the ball game. Kyler gets free, throws, end zone. Tip drill caught. Got the touchdown, and the Big Green win it. Next on King and Drill, the Louisville player. You just can't do it. A rush of four. Alinsky has time. Morrow gets away from the defender. Morrow to the end zone. He is shouldered out of bounds. Touchdown. The side official rules it a touchdown. Washington State, if it stands, has a comeback for the ages. Searching ball in the corner, a little overcooked, and popping up, and heading it just high. 
We're under uh, two minutes to go. Trying to become a little bit more menacing on those dead balls that we say we've seen perhaps in years past. Nikki Frazier making herself a weapon of choice. A great target at 5'10 for UCLA. She's been getting involved in the attack a lot so far this half. Just like her dad used to do we only got less fans to here in Southern California for, for tonight's game. LA Galaxy, the late 90s. Wonderful player he was. We're in the final few minutes of playing before halftime. We're under a minute to go. Less than a minute left here. Bob Yeti. Got possession. less than a minute left. There it is. It's been brilliant this year. It had a half a dozen saves in her first couple of games. Very busy. They're going to be reliant upon her. This young core of Cougars. How about Robinson dislodging it now? Sophie Real. She'll need some support. Converged upon by three defenders. That's well played. From BYU's Tylee Pratt. Just possess the UCLA sophomore. Here's McMahon. Absolutely relentless. Slaloming past defenders. McMahon pulls the cross and... Take a deflection into the hands of the BYU keeper. That will do it. The first half is in the books here in our Big Ten Network debut for UCLA. And Tracy Bailey, you could have scripted it better as they found the back of the net six minutes after kickoff. Yeah, really quickly for UCLA Bruins and it has been a game of uh, back and forth a little bit, but UCLA has mostly controlled the possession so far this half. I anticipate some changes by Coach Rockwood going in at halftime for her BYU squad, and we'll have to see what she comes out in the second half. All right, well, right now we're privileged to be joined by the woman herself, Marguerite Awazasa, the UCLA head coach. Hey, Mark, thanks for taking the time. Great start for you guys. That goal six minutes after kickoff. Your thoughts here on the first 45. Yeah, no, I... One, I, uh, set pieces that's always been our Achilles heel a little bit, so it's nice to be on the other side of that for once. Um, but I thought we did a really good job. Um, the thing we want to limit, though, is their transition. They're, they're always very dangerous in those moments, so got to do a better job with that. And I think you saw once we found rhythm, we did a really nice job, but we have to find more of that. And, Coach, uh, we saw a lot of attack from your side. You have one goal on the board. What do you think it's going to take to get some more goals? Oh my gosh, I don't know if we've ever missed so many goals from inside the six-yard box, so hopefully we can just um, finish that a little better. I think better runs in the box, a little better finishing, just more assertiveness in the box, but we're creating a lot of good chances, so we can be happy with that. Just make, need to make a couple fine-tune adjustments. Mark, hey, thanks for taking the time. Best of luck coming up here in the second half. Awesome, thank you guys. Marguerite Awazasa off and running, smiles all around. What a start it was. Meg Bodie and company out in front. A top 25 clash is number three, UCLA, one, BYU, nil.